Matt Dimas presents Semenology The Semen Bartender's Handbook Written by Paul Fody Fonhauer Read by Matt Dimas I dedicate this book to all my enthusiastic fans that have supported my efforts to continue the promotion of semen in the kitchen. This book is long overdue. Thank you for the support and patience. A special thanks to Ricard Gagner, whose well-developed semen palette was invaluable in the test kitchen. Intro It has been four years since I first published my semen cookbook, Natural Harvest, a collection of semen-based recipes. I originally wrote the book to change the negative view on semen as a food and encourage readers to open their minds, kitchens, and ultimately their mouths to semen. We eat milk, cow secretions, and eggs, chicken menstruations. So why all the fuss about semen's inappropriateness as food? My cookbook has broadened the minds and culinary landscape for semen enthusiasts all over the world. Although most of my fans are from the United States, the book was warmly received in many other countries. Unsurprisingly, the culinary nations of France and Italy loved the book and one French newspaper proclaimed the semen-based dishes were the latest fad in America. The book was smuggled into Saudi Arabia, since customs wouldn't allow the book in. In Singapore, the book inspired cooking classes and was regularly featured on various cooking shows. Our troops in Iraq and Afghanistan preferred the e-book versions of the book. And with their ample supplies of semen, I trust that the novelty relieved the otherwise unexciting canteen cooking. I am happy that semen is no longer neglected as food, and I am proud that my humble cookbook was the driving force that unleashed semen into the kitchen. I have continued to develop and experiment with semen recipes, along with my general cooking skills. In 2011, I used the funds generated by sales of the cookbook to take cooking classes in Europe, both in Switzerland and in Spain. The Spanish classes were the most fun, especially the short course in bartending. Mixing drinks is fun, and it's very easy to experiment and create new drinks. Semen is an exciting ingredient that can give any cocktail an interesting twist. Semen adds an exciting personal touch to your favorite cocktail. The semen connoisseur will appreciate how alcohol can enhance the delicate semen flavors. The experienced semen bartender also carefully selects spirits that either accentuate or camouflage the taste of semen, all depending on the drinking's preference. Prostate Passion A healthy prostate is vital for ensuring good quality semen and ample volumes. This drink is made with pomegranate, a fruit that is renowned for its positive effect on the prostate. This is the only drink in this book that does not contain semen. It is nonetheless pretty scrumptious. Half a cup of sugar, half a cup of soda water, two ounce vodka, two ounce of pomegranate juice, three ounce of sparkling wine, pomegranate seeds for garnish. Make sugar syrup by bringing sugar and water to a boil in a small saucepan. Stir until the sugar is dissolved and let cool. Combine the vodka and the syrup and mix well. Divide into two glasses filled with ice and fill with sparkling wine. Add the pomegranate seeds and then drizzle the pomegranate juice into the drink, giving the drink a beautiful pink tint. Another way to maintain a healthy prostate is by regularly manually stimulating this inaccessible gland. Macho Mojito I recently learned that the name mojito comes from the Spanish word mojadito, which translates as a little wet. This coincidentally also applies to many situations involving semen. One ounce spiced rum, mint leaves, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of powdered sugar, half an ounce of lime juice, two ounces of soda water, semen, lime wedges. Thoroughly blend lime juice and sugar, 
add the mint leaves and gently bruise the leaves to release the flavors by mashing the mixture with a muddler. Then add the rum and stir to lift up the mint leaves from the bottom of the glass. Top the drink with whole ice cubes and soda water. Using a milk frother, gradually whisk small amounts of powdered sugar into melted semen until it reaches a creamy, airy consistency. Taste frequently to achieve the perfect sweet and salty balance. Carefully spoon the sweet froth into the side of the glass so that it gracefully cascades down the glass. Garnish with lime wedges. Semen Rimmed Margarita This drink is traditionally served in a salt rim glass. However, the semenologist prepares the glass with his own homemade semen salt. One half ounce of tequila. Half ounce triple sec. One ounce lime juice. Ice. Rim a chilled cocktail glass with lime juice and dip in the semen rimming salt. Shake the ingredients with ice and strain into the glass. Semen rimming salt. One part semen. Two parts salt. This procedure must be done well in advance. Mix the semen and salt until the salt is completely dissolved. Place the mixture in a shallow stainless steel dish, making sure that the paste is spread out evenly. Place the dish in a warm sunny place. Once all the liquid has evaporated, crush the semen infused salt into a powder. The semen salt is now ready to be rimmed. Semen salt is very versatile in the kitchen, so you may decide to make a large batch. Heavenly Cognac It is almost a shame to add anything to a good quality cognac, anything, that is, except the semen. However, my first attempts at perfecting the blending of these two heavenly fluids were disappointing. I found, as is often the case, that simplicity is best. Splashing the semen into the well-filled glass is an entertaining way to serve cognac. Two ounce of the finest cognac you can afford, one teaspoon of semen. I found that it is best to first allow the semen to just begin to melt. At the initial stage of melting, this takes a few minutes. If the semen is unusually thick, quickly dilute with a few drops of water. Splash the semen into the cognac and enjoy. Surprisingly, I have found that unlike cognac that grows better with age, Heavenly Cognac tastes best when made with the seminal fluids of a younger producer. Semen Enhanced Absinthe Few drinks are as fascinating and mysterious as absinthe. Absinthe contains various herbs and other botanicals, but is most known for including wormwood. Also known as the Green Fairy, absinthe has been cherished by many prominent writers and artists. Oscar Wilde, who was one of my all-time favorites, was an avid drinker. One ounce absinthe, cold water of good quality, one sugar cube, one teaspoon of fresh semen. Aside from the taste and beautiful color, the joy of drinking absinthe lies in the way it is traditionally prepared. Place a sugar cube on a teaspoon and then place the spoon on the glass of absinthe. Carefully spoon the semen on top of the sugar cube, trying to not get any into the glass. Then slowly drip ice cold water over the cum covered cube. The sweet semen water will gradually give the absinthe a whitish tint. Absolute semen. I only use premium vodka to make this drink. It does not make any sense to adulterate premium seed with low quality vodka. One half ounce of vodka, two teaspoons fresh semen. Simply pour the fresh harvest into a shot glass and then carefully fill the glass with ice cold vodka. Depending on your texture preference, either melted gives a smooth drink or unmelted for a more gelatinous texture, semen can be used. The semen will not mix with the vodka which means that you can prepare several glasses in advance when serving guests. Creamier Eggnog 
Homemade eggnog is so much better than the industrial stuff. So it is well worth the effort. Brandy, bourbon, and rum all work well, although a blend of those spirits in equal parts is the best. Eggnog connoisseurs and semen enthusiasts use both ingredients in their raw state for maximum taste and texture. Two organic eggs, separated, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of milk, half to one cup of rum, brandy or bourbon, half a cup of cream, two teaspoons or more of semen, freshly grated nutmeg, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. In a large bowl, beat egg yolks while gradually adding the sugar, whisk in the cold milk, cold cream, and chilled semen, and mix thoroughly. Stir in the blend of spirits. In a separate bowl, beat the egg white stiff, and then fold into the creamy mixture. Sprinkle with nutmeg before serving. If you're lucky to have a large supply, you can substitute an egg for an equal amount of semen for more flavor. The Milkman is Coming In my college days, some French exchange students and I were drinking heavily one night. To our horror, we discovered that we had finished all our preferred mixes. We did, however, have plenty of vodka, creme de framboise, and milk. We experimented with the free and found that the recipe below created a delicious drink. The semen was added years later. Two ounces of vodka, one cup of milk, one ounce of creme de framboise, one to two teaspoons of semen. Pour the vodka, milk, and semen into a big glass and mix well. Slowly add the creme de framboise, raspberry liquor, a little bit at a time, so that the milk does not curdle. Garnish with fresh raspberries. Grasshopper Deluxe Intriguingly green and minty, the grasshopper is a sweet, refreshing after-dinner semen cocktail. Seminal fluid and mint go surprisingly well together. However, too much mint liqueur risks masking the freshly ejaculated flavors. One ounce of creme de mumf, one ounce of creme de cacao, one teaspoon of freshly melted semen, one ounce of fresh cream, dark chocolate. Pour all the ingredients into a cocktail shaker filled with ice and shake. Strain into a chilled cocktail glass. Garnish with grated dark chocolate. Alternatively, for a bolder touch, add your ejaculate after pouring the glass. The result will be slightly lumpy, but more visually striking. Garnished with crushed frozen semen, your grasshopper will be sure to please the most demanding semenologist. Mexican Cum Slide This deliciously sweet drink is the perfect dessert after a light dinner. The creamy concoction graciously incorporates the semen, and the almond coffee flavors harmonize well with the delicate nuances of semen. One ounce of Kahlua. One ounce of Amaretto liquor. Five ounces of ice cream. One to two ounces of whipped cream. One to two teaspoons of semen. Chocolate syrup. Combine the liquors and ice cream in a bowl. Swirl the semen and chocolate into a frosted glass and add the mixture. Finish with whipped cream and additional chocolate syrup on top. Resist the temptation to reduce the calorie content of this wonderful drink by using low-calorie dairy products. Semen is an excellent choice for the weight conscious. If you have larger volume stored in the freezer, it can be slightly forward to a slush consistency to substitute some of the calorie-laden ice cream. Long Island Iced Tea this classic cocktail is notorious for being potent. The spirits combine magically to create a deceptive concoction so delicious that drinkers always underestimate the alcohol content. The semen flavor is slightly overpowered by the other ingredients, but it becomes noticeable once the ice melts and the drink warms to room temperature. Half an ounce of vodka, half an ounce of tequila, half an ounce of white rum or whiskey, Half ounce of triple sec, half ounce of gin, one ounce of frozen lemon juice, one ounce of sugar syrup, one to two teaspoons of semen, cola, ice. 
allow the freshly harvested semen to melt and thoroughly mix in with the syrup in a separate glass. Mix the spirits in a tall glass over ice, then add the semen sugar mixture. Stir well before adding the cola. Garnish and serve. Gin and Tonic In the 18th century, the British Army used gin and lime to mask the bitter taste of quinine, a malaria treatment. And the gin and tonic was born. I discovered that this mixture also masked a slightly unpleasant taste of semen harvested from smokers. This drink is named after my good friend and heavy smoker, Jim. Two ounces of gin, five ounces of tonic water, half a teaspoon of semen, lemon, ice. First whisk the semen and gin together in a bowl until completely dissolved. Then pour into a glass filled with ice and top with tonic water. Stir well. Garnish with a lemon slice. Due to the fact that the semen flavors are not easily detected in this drink, some bartenders might be tempted to choose this drink to serve their ejaculate to unconsenting drinkers. This is deceiving and unethical. Watermelon Gin Jizz Modern semenologists have discovered the delicious drinks of the Prohibition era. This fruity, bubbly drink is perfect, is perfect for a luncheon on a warm, sunny afternoon. Watermelon cubes, one ounce of club soda, half an ounce of frozen lemonade concentrate, one ounce of watermelon vodka, one tablespoon of sugar, and one to two teaspoons of semen. Combine the lemonade concentrate, sugar, and vodka and blend well. Add the soda water and frozen watermelon cubes. Garnish with strawberries. Seminated frozen watermelon. Instead of ice, I sometimes like to make my drink fancy by using frozen semen infused fruit. Cut the watermelon or rubber fruit into cubes. Use a food syringe to inject semen into the fruit, then freeze. As the fruit falls in the drink, the white fluid leaks out in glorious streaks. Semen Hemorrhage Based on a popular drink made with Bailey's Irish Cream, this recipe uses semen instead. The visually gorish effect of coagulated semen may cause some drinkers to hesitate, but once your guests taste it, they will want more. One ounce of peach schnapps, one teaspoon of fresh semen, five drops of grenadine. Pour the schnapps into a shot glass and add a few drops of grenadine. Slowly, very slowly, Add the unmelted semen on top with more grenadine. The semen will slightly coagulate. I once served a tray of these at a Halloween party, but as I needed more volume, I used frozen semen and the hemorrhaging effect wasn't satisfactory. Since then, I always make sure to have plenty of freshly harvested semen available when I make this drink. Orgasm on the beach. The classic drink sex on the beach is served throughout the world. It comes in many variations, and my version is a combination of the International Bartenders Association's recipe and the type found in Mr. Boston's Bartender's Guide. One half ounce of vodka, half an ounce of melon liquor, two ounces of cranberry juice, two ounces of orange juice, and one to two teaspoons of semen. To create three distinct layers, first mix in orange juice and vodka with ice. Mix cranberry juice and melon liquor in a separate glass and gently pour it on top of the orange juice mix using a spoon. Finally, add the semen on top for the third layer. Most recipes call for the drink to be stirred, but the layering in this version creates a visually stunning drink that is sure to enthrall drinkers. I once got into an argument with a bartender about whether the IBA or the Mr. Boston type of sex on the beach was the true one. After a whole night of arguing and drinking, we ended up compromising, using melon liquor instead of peach schnapps. This version with added semen is how I served a cocktail. Pina cum laude 
The classic pina colada is a wonderful exotic drink that combines coconut cream and pineapples with light rum. Semen adds an additional exotic twist to the mixture, earning it a true cum loud status. 3 ounces of light rum, 3 tablespoons of coconut cream, 3 tablespoons of crushed pineapples, 1 tablespoon of semen, and 2 cups of crushed ice. Pour all the ingredients into a blender with the crushed ice and blend at high speed for a few seconds. Pour into a beautiful glass. Blending the semen at high speed ensures a wonderful foamy consistency. Alternatively, add the semen as a final step, gently folding it into the drink. This makes the drink more robust as the delicate nuances of masculinity are preserved in small pockets of flavour. Bellini di Semi This classic cocktail originates from the beautiful city of Venice. It is made from Prosecco, which is an Italian sparkling wine and fresh peach puree. Although I have yet to try it, I like to imagine that Italian semen would add an exciting twist. 2 ounces of peach puree 3 ounces of Prosecco wine and fresh semen. First mix the semen in peach puree, then simply pour the mixture into a champagne glass, and gently add the Prosecco. Stir very carefully to avoid stirring out the bubbles. Other sparkling wines in the Italian Prosecco can also be used, but the Prosecco wine has the perfect acidity and fruitiness that so well balances the Armady semen undertones. Semen Bomb Dropping shot glasses of spirits into beer has been popular for a long time. This recipe uses a shot of semen to reach a new level of visual and gustatory sensation. A tall glass of beer and semen. Ejaculate into a shot glass and simply drop it into a tall glass of cold beer, twisting as you drop it. Watch as the semen mixes with the beer and drink it once the shot glass has released most of its load. Semenology does not get better or easier than this. For a stronger drink, and if you do not have enough volume to fill the shot glass, dilute the semen with vodka. When hosting a cocktail party, it is important to cater to the visual sense as well as to the palate. I use a spotlight to highlight the semen peripherating into the glass. I also prefer to use a lager, as darker beers hide the stunning visual display. Galliano Cum Shot Galliano is an Italian herbal liquor with a distinct yellow colour. Despite its unique exotic flavour, it does not overpower the semen at all. In fact, the mellow, spicy vanilla tones enhance the seminal notes. One ounce of Galliano, one ounce of freshly brewed coffee, one to two teaspoons of semen, and whipped cream. Mix the two creams before beating them stiff. Pour the Galliano in a shot glass and use a spoon to carefully layer the hot coffee on top. Add the semen cream and drink while still hot. A shot of Fodi. This is the ultimate semen shot. A drink with the pure taste of zesty semen and vodka. One ounce of semen, half an ounce of vodka and a lemon peel. Whisk semen and vodka in a bowl until foamy. Pour into shot glasses and add lemon zest on top. This recipe calls for larger amounts of prostate milk, more that can be harvested from a producer in a single evening. Therefore, preparation is vital. Semen harvested up to three days in advance can be stored in the fridge, but for longer storage, it must be stored in the freezer. I find it convenient to ejaculate directly into a container that I keep in the freezer just for this purpose. Frozen semen should always be thawed slowly at room temperature or in the fridge in order to minimize deterioration. My dear friend Ricard says that this drink pairs fabulously with crayfish. Tequila cum shot. Tequila shots are a classic frat party drink. This recipe adds the exciting semen dimension. 2 ounces of top shelf tequila, a lemon, 
two teaspoons of semen, some salt, and xanthan gum. The trick to successful tequila cum shots is to thicken the fresh semen so that it stays in your hand. Place a dab of sticky sauce between your thumb and index finger along with a pinch of salt. With the lemon wedged between your fingers, grab the tequila glass with the other hand. Lick the salty cum off your hand, drink the shot, and finish by biting into the lemon. To thicken the semen, I use xanthan gum, though powdered gelatin can also be used. Sprinkle a tiny pinch of xanthan gum into the semen and whisk with a fork. Be careful not to add too much as this will turn it into an unappetizing clump. Frequently Asked Questions What is the nutritional value of semen? Semen contains a good balance of fructose sugars, protein, enzymes, vitamins, and minerals. On its own, semen meets the criteria for a low-carb food. See the Nutritional Facts label. Nutritional Facts Serving size, 1 teaspoon, 5 milliliters. Calories, 6. Calories from fat, 0. Asterisk, percent daily values at DV are based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Ingredients, water, fructose sugar, ascorbic acid, calcium, chlorine, citric acid, creatine, deoxyribonucleic acid, glutathione, lactic acid, magnesium, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, chlorine, pyrimidine, Sodium, sorbitol, spermidine, vitamin B12, and zinc. Total fat, 0%. Saturated fat, 0%. Trans fats, 0%. Cholesterol, 0%. Sodium, 0%. Total carb, 300 milligrams, 0.1% of the daily values. Sugars, 300 milligrams. Dietary fiber, 0%. Protein, 150 milligrams, 0.2% of the daily value. Vitamin A, 1%. Vitamin C, 14%. Potassium, 7%. Zinc, 3%. What are the health and safety considerations when consuming semen? Sadly, the scientific community has not yet studied this issue enough to give us a conclusive answer. My principle is that a healthy producer equals healthy semen. I would only consume semen from a producer whom I would be willing to have sexual relations with. Can I secretly add semen to surprise my friends? No, never. As with my recipes in Natural Harvest, a collection of semen-based recipes, these cocktails are only meant for consenting adults. Can semen be considered vegetarian? I would consider semen to be vegetarian, but not vegan. How can I enhance the flavor of my semen? I have found that ginger positively affects the flavor, and in general, a diet rich in fresh fruits also works well. I prefer naturally healthy semen and am skeptical to the various dietary supplements sold to enhance semen flavor. Can human semen be substituted with animal semen? You can buy straws of animal semen, but it's very expensive. Besides, I think that using aboard semen reduces semen to just another ingredient. What should I consider when experimenting with semen drinks? Semen is easier to successfully mix with liquids when it has melted. Freshly harvested semen is thick and lumpy but quickly melts to a more fluid state. Also, mixing semen with acidic liquids sometimes makes it curdle. I'm always interested in new culinary uses of semen and love when my fans send me their favorite recipes. Email me at semenbook at gmail.com. Contact me on Twitter at semenbook. Special thanks to D. Simon of the Sick and Wrong podcast for suggesting the title Semenology. Stephen Fry for tweeting about my book last year. It really helped. I have never had so many visitors on cookingwithcum.com. Daniel Tosh for featuring my book on your show. People are still mentioning it. Thanks, Daniel. Ricard Gagnon. Without you, this book would not exist. I am forever indebted to you. Niall Patrick Harris for being an inspiring role model. 
Lance Jackson, for creating the cover of this book. That was Seamanology, The Seaman Bartender's Handbook by Paul Bodie Fotenhauer.